and now they have to work together to cover it up. What was the other one? Florence. This one you're thinking is not even anywhere near a box. It's in a warehouse somewhere. But he never showed. Try Saturday because Sam was supposed to work on Saturday. We'll try Saturday next then. We'll try a different night. So we've gone with names so far, haven't we? Okay, we can see everything about the Saturday. Let's recap what happened. So Friday was an argument. He left. He didn't come back the next day. And the parents didn't hear anything either, I believe. Um, but we do think, though, somehow Eric and Saturday are connected in either a lie or something specific to the way that she looked to the left when she spoke about Saturday and Eric. So keep a lookout for that in these other videos. Um, there's actually videos of her here with hair down and hair up. So let's... But then, what is the timestamp in these videos? So here's the reason why I don't think the theory of two women is true. Look at the timestamps. 8.57.21, hair down. 8.58.41, hair is now up. The theory that you've got is two different people is that she's had to have answered that question, which lasts 32 seconds, putting her about 58 minutes just before to go out the room, come back in again with a water jug, now with her hair up. Well, it's switched. Three different people. <laughs> it's three different day sponge. That's why. This is taken on the 18th of June, 27th of June, 30th of June. I think one likes coffee and one likes water. Well, we'll, well it clearly shows a difference here, but the timestamps are weird. They're too close. What's this one say then? I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And then I woke up and I slept back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and wake up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. He hide. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Beyond that, Luce, she left the room to throw up. Literally the minute difference between them. Let's see the next clip before we make any judgments because this is like ringing super true. Super true. Okay. He was late. Early Saturday morning. Fifty seven, watch the timestamp. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And then I woke up and I slept back. In addition to that, she has not mentioned that she got a coffee or a croissant or anything. She just came straight back. Because I think she knew she got a story a bit mixed up there, she's then run out the room. Look. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and wake up. Simon wasn't there. He hide. Is that okay? Yeah. And then a minute later. He was late. Early Saturday morning. Oh my god, my spelling is atrocious.
But could she have put her hair up because she was sick? Saturn is this? A week or so ago. It would have been Saturday before my birthday. It's there. You know, I get like that on the weekends. Have a lie in, then want to go and blitz the house. It's quite high up in it. Let me do this. Can I search for ta tattoo once I've typed it in? So no tattoo. Right. Let's look how high up it is in her arm. Oh, it's quite low down, isn't it? There's a present for myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. Pat the ears back. There's a present for myself. The tattoo eight years ago. And then this one we just watched. Yes. A week or so ago, it would have been Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends. Have a lie in, then want to go and blitz the house. So this is Eve. We're saying. Let's get the fan on. I'm starting to roast here. Getting excited. Oh, Hannah has no tattoo. I'm going to sneeze. Everyone jump on the sneeze. Come in. Ah, oh, it's gone now. It's there. Man. It's coming. <coughs> Bless me. Did y'all jump on the sneeze? <laughs> no, nobody jumped on the sneeze. <laughs> Let's see if y'all jump at the same time though, that'd be funny. I tied. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach. Quite twisted. Cut himself with some blood. He looks just like the photo. He looks like he's just lifted a slice of some hippo to take to mass with the camera. But he needs them to see properly in a mainstream media, a newspaper, or the menu in a restaurant. Not books so much, or watching TV. Just like that. So we're saying Hannah is this person with the hair up. And we're saying this person with the hair down is Eve. So Eve recalls Simon really well. Like in a relationship. Oh, my tattoo. I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. <laughs> a 
so do you think she's done this then to be able to identify separately from her sister of the twin? Snake and apple as a symbolic for temptation and sin. Who is this? Who is this person with her hair down again? Hair down is Eve. And you see, this is Hannah. Oh, hang on. Hair down is Eve. So, hair down, this is Eve, Eve as well. Do you want to search Diana next? It's two about Diana. Yeah, Eve 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. The son looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. He did like his suspenders. <laughs> the twin wasn't quite a one, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. <laughs> yeah, Eve 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Son who looked very handsome in the face. Okay. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Tiny. Magical. We were the princess. He had a poster of Princess Diana framed for the newspaper up in our attic. It had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we fell for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Okay. So that's Eve, though, as she is a tattoo and speaks of the wedding from the third person. Okay. <clears throat> So there's no one here. Was it? You guys have to search for someone else as well. No, there's no Steve there. Sorry, Sponge. Um, what we're thinking? What we're thinking?
We haven't tried wedding yet now. Simon's work, more relevance to his craft. Mirror. There was a thing about mirrors. I didn't know anything about mirrors. Right, what are we going with? We've got two, three different things there. What do you think is probably the biggest priority? So let's go mirror then, okay. Oh, it's a few here. Let's just recap what we've known so far. Um, okay, not much. He wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror, fitting with the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it especially for me. Which one's this one again? Mirror gift. This is Hannah. So do you think there was a sibling rivalry about who has Simon? Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. I think the fact that Sarah made a mirror for Hannah made Eve angry or jealous. And that has to be Eve. She's got a head up for this one now. Silver leaf? No. And he normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's a perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. She seems very smitten about the fact she's got this mirror compared to the other one. The other one didn't really care about a mirror. She really cares about the mirror. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So what were the other one? Wedding. Got a couple on here. So just on the recap on the wedding stuff. Wedding night, hotel, Brighton. <laughs> Obsession with two coffees. Silver watch from Diane to Simon. She thinks she was in Glasgow at the time. Weddings were 17 years old. I guess you could call it that, but... We were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. And it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon at that moment. A crime of passion. Eve killed Simon because she was jealous of Hannah. Hannah mentioned an argument and the mirror was in the evidence bag. I also think the mirror caused the jealousy and the mirror was what used to kill him.
Her mindset then was, if I can't have him, no one can. Okay, okay. I guess you could call it that, but we were both. Oh my god, this one's almost two minutes. This is going to be an absolute whirlwind of information. Should we team up for this? Should one of us think about the, the, the words that she says, and one of us checks the body language that she says? Maybe we can catch more that way. You smash the mirror and use a shout to cuss her. Maybe she just hit him with it in a broken and she didn't break killed him. so much to think about. I bet for anybody who's actually seen this game before and probably played it, you're probably thinking, oh, it's getting warmer, oh, getting colder, oh, warmer, oh, getting colder again. Right, are you ready for this? in the attic. It was hard. But I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I'd have to stay and talk. Hannah and I were in the second flat. I was trying to get to heaven. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone I knew, so it was sex with strangers. Wow. I felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who was true death. I had to stop them and look out over the city. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter. talked about what to do and was it time to become our own people I mean that seemed like the right thing to do but neither of us wanted it we agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible and then I could move in and that was the plan what? let's be our own people so I can move in I want to be eating dinner at your table There's literally two completely different stories that you two have come up with. Brilliant. Um, unhappy twins falling apart. What have I just typed there? Oh, hop, 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 hoi. Unhappy twins falling apart. There we go. I think this is going to be a big one. We're talking a lot about the mirror smashing. I have a 57 second video here with the word smashed in it. Her story is that she waited for him to come back. She put on her makeup, put on her clothes. She came back to me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being alone. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present. Another mirror. Just like the one he'd given her earlier. That 
unique presence. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So she grabbed the back of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She didn't want to scare him off. I who called it? Who called it? Who was in chat and called that? <laughs> yes. So let's just search throat. Okay, we've got several different ones here. Okay. Well, she smashed it first, then killed him. But yes, he, she, she did. She did. Okay, there's a couple of videos here. Let's check what some of these were. Oh. How? Surely she'd know if she were there. Yeah. Like I said before, it was three. Something like that. She's really honest right now. Miscarriage. Okay. Let me just watch this one other video here. Um, well, at least we know who's in the body bag now. <laughs> it's been confirmed. His body. It's interesting, it's like she overcompensates. She overcompensates details that aren't relevant to try and pull away from the bits that really are important. Like why don't she lie to try and overcompensate elsewhere? Um, states doesn't know how throat cut. So we say miscarriage. Five entries found. So, so found the miscarriage, lost the baby, continued to live at Simon's parents eight months in, who believe it was a stillbirth. So Hannah killed Simon while pretending to be Eve. It sounds about right so far. Okay, it gets a more tragic. Okay. So miscarriage and parent death. I think I was kind of feeling ill. I think it was flu or something. They made me call the other two so I came to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they've been there for days. No one has noticed. Just awful. What? It was so soon after my miscarriage. Our oh, parents. In the worst year of my life. I'd been so happy to get married, and after that, it was just like, fuck. Just... 
What? Hang on a sec. Something doesn't make sense. <laughs> 